Good morning all. Today I'm going to build walkie talkies or possibly just one walkie talkie. Um, this came from Banggood. It's a set of two, obviously, walkie talkies. Um, I might just build the one today and, uh, and then build the other one another time. I'm planning to do a continuous shoot. I'm not sure how feasible that will be. A continuous shot of building this kit. So it's going to be very long. I'll probably have to cut it up into uh, parts. Actually, I might stop filming every 10 minutes or so to uh, turn it into parts. Let's do the stickers first. This sticker clearly goes down here. I'm going to stick it on slightly off center because that's generally how these things come when you buy them, don't they? And this one that says 986A. Not sure what the relevance of 986A is, particularly as this walkie talkie is uh, 49 megahertz, I think it is. Right, so we've got a speaker. You actually get little bits of wire in the bag here and a circuit board. So I suppose I'm going to be concentrating mainly on assembling that circuit board. Let's put those in the bin. Right, I'm going to need my soldering iron. Let's get that first. Soldering iron stand. And I need a bit of water. Plug the iron in. Right, bit of water in the soldering iron stand. Let's take the sponge out. That's probably enough. Okay, let that warm up. Have a little drink. So where do we start? Well, with the instructions, let's put the case halves up there for a minute, tip out all the parts, including the wires. Now the instructions are all in foreign, all in Chinese. So I'm really going to be working from the circuit diagram the uh, layout here of where all the components go and their numbers. There's some stuff here on resistors, but I think I'll, I'll cheat and just use a component tester for the resistors. It'll be easier. Uh, on the back, all Chinese again, but there is a parts list, which may be useful as a cross-reference. Okay, so where to start? Well, I guess with the resistors, uh, right, I need to get the component tester now. One second. Uh, component testers. Right, I've got two. Uh, well, this one's not in a packet, so let's use that one. Resistor under there. Okay, we can test some of the resistors. Right, I'll need a nine volt battery. For the component tester. Let's put that on there. Right, okay, so now we're ready to test components. Let's start with resistors then. This is a very small board. Um, which end should we start? This is back to front. No, that must be the copper side. Yeah, that's the copper side. Okay, so I'm going to have to keep finding a component and then flipping this over to see the... No, I suppose I don't need to. Well, I need to flip it over to put the component in, don't I? Okay. Well, there's R1. Look, that's a good place to start. R1 up there near the uh, screw mounting point and R1 in the parts list is 10 ohms, are you sure? R1 and R9, 10 ohms, 8 watt. Okay, so we need to try and identify a 10 ohm resistor. Oh goodness, they are very, very tiny, aren't they? Perhaps I need a magnifying glass.
Brown, black, red. That's one K. Okay. Ten ohms is brown, black, black, is it? Yes. Brown, black, black. I think that is brown, black, black. So to just be sure, let's put it in the component tester. Now, actually, this is these are going to go um, standing on end style. So let's bend one into a standing on end style. Get the cutters and cut that ready to go in the board. Put it in the component tester. Pins one and two. This component tester, the um, his legs don't open out fully, but anyway. Okay, test. This is the towel bow one, isn't it? Testing. Ten point one ohms. Well, that's a good start. Okay, off. Out you come. Circuit board, resistor one. Oh, it even tells you which side to put the wire and which side to put the component. Not that I suppose it matters too much. Now, if I bend this in a certain way, it should have enough springiness in the legs to hold itself in the board while I solder it without needing uh, blue tack. I will need the. Uh, get that out. I will need the helping hand, so let's do that. And here we go. Now I'm not using my soldering glasses, which are the three and a half diopter. I'm just using my general glasses so I can keep looking at the camera screen to check the time. Seven minutes, so we'll probably restart that at ten. Okay, first resistor is in. 10 ohms, clip the leads. I could use a little receptacle to put the little clippings. I've got a tin lid somewhere. Here it is, so let's put all those in the, in the tin lid. Good, I think once I get underway, this should speed up a bit. Well, since resistor 9 is also 10 ohms, I might as well do resistor 9 next, or possibly resistor 2, uh, 5k6, if I find it first. Let's have a little rummage. 5k6, oh yes, there it is. So that's green, blue, red. See that? Green, blue, red, 5k6. Uh, five six and then the red means two zero so it's five six zero zero which is five k six I'm gonna be a bit pedantic about bending this with the percentage tolerance ring at the bottom I mean that is real pedantry All right this thing's gonna to have to keep coming off uh, so that was r2 wasn't it five k six year r2 R2, where are you? Oh, there you are. Up the top there. Right, that doesn't feel very sturdy in there, so let's get a little bit of blue tack. Just put the blue tack against the component and solder it in. Let's see what I'm doing terribly well because I'm really using the wrong glasses. Okay. Clip the leads. And we have two resistors on the board. 